Welcome to Evolution of Self with me, Britannia. Hello. So this week I want to speak to you about believing in others and trusting in their path. Now, the reason this topic came to my mind is because I was discussing it with somebody else. And I realised as a mother that this is something I've had to learn a long, long time ago. And anyone who's been a parent or who has had someone that they care about very deeply in their lives will understand that it can be really hard sometimes to stop trying to sort of protect them and stop trying to ensure that they don't get hurt and to learn to trust that that person knows what's best in their life. If you don't do that, um, <laughs> and I suppose when my kids were very, very young, I was wont not to. I kind of thought I knew better than they did. Um, I thought that only I had their best interests at heart and only I could keep them safe and that I had all the answers. Well, not quite all exactly like that, but it's kind of over-exaggerating it. But along those lines, um, and as any parent, my drive was to ensure that they were safe and that they survived and that they weren't hurt. But what I understood and what I learned was the more that I tried to protect them, the less they believed in themselves, the more they felt that the world was a scary place and that they needed it to be protected from it. And the more that I took their decisions away from them and their choices away from them because I believed I knew better, the less they learned to trust themselves. And one of the things that I decided very early on with my children was that I wanted above all else for them to believe in themselves. And the reason for this is that self-belief, it is like the biggest gift you can give someone. Because if someone believes in themselves, it means that they believe that they can handle any situation that life throws at them. And life throws many weird and strange situations at people. For someone to believe and believe in themselves means that they believe that whatever life does throw at them, no matter how hard or uncomfortable or wondrous it is, that they have within them the answers to whatever problem that they or challenge that they face. But to be able to believe in yourself, you either have to have an incredible strength <laughs> within yourself, but it also takes a conscious choice by those around you to allow you to believe in yourself. If you have people that, like I did initially, who make decisions for you, who think they know better than you, who try to control your life, Unless you have that huge drive inside of you to prove yourself and to be yourself, you can very easily succumb to doubting yourself, to thinking others know better than you. Our whole society is created with that in mind to teach us that others know better than us. For starters, we're born into a family with parents who most, most of them think they know better than us, um, which is fair enough, they've lived longer and done more than we have. But then we go to school and our teachers think they know better than us. Our doctors and our health services think they know better than us. Um, our jobs, our bosses, um, the companies we're in think they know better than us. And life, if we let it, can sweep us right through with all the different situations building upon each other to convince us that we don't know ourselves, that we don't believe in ourselves. And that's why I feel it's really important in relationships with people that we trust that the path they're on, the choices they make, whether or not those choices end up being successful or a failure, it doesn't matter. Because a failure is not really a failure, it's just a learning experience. It's a chance to realise that whatever it was you did didn't work. And that's okay. There's many things that don't work. And they don't work for some people, maybe they do work for other people. But that's by learning those things, you grow and you deepen your understanding of yourself and what you like and what you don't like. But unless you let people make those mistakes, they can't learn those things. Um, so that's why I try, and I wouldn't say I'm always successful, but I try to trust people when they make decisions, to know and have faith that whatever path they're on, wherever that path takes them, they're learning what they need to learn in life. If I try to control all the circumstances and all the people in my world, then I'm taking those opportunities away from them. I'm taking the opportunity for them to learn to grow, to make their own decisions, to make their own mistakes, to experience life in this richness and fullness that it, and the wonder that it is. Because the, 
the times that I've grown the most have been the times that I've struggled the most. And there's been times when I've, I mean, especially with my father, bless him, and I love him so much, but he really did think he knew better than me. And there was a time when I actually had to say to him, Dad, I love you so much, but I actually just can't speak to you at this moment in time because I need to do this for myself. I need to figure it out no matter how hard it is. I need to do that for myself. Um, and he actually was really sweet. He did respect me and let me do it, <laughs> figure it out, and I did. But I like to be able to give that gift to others now as well. And I'm sharing this with you so that in your relationships, you might be able to try to learn to have faith, to trust and to believe in others. That even if they take or make the choices that you wouldn't have, that you think are wrong, that whatever course that takes, whether it's successful or not, that they will learn lessons that they need to learn in life and their lives will be richer for it. I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, as usual, all the links to my show notes are in my show notes below, the links to my website where you can contact me, links to my online courses and to my monthly Ho'oponopono sessions. Um, I hope you have a fabulous week. So much love from me to you. Bye-bye.